say. Barack Obama, 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 um, so, without further ado, um, today, you know, we just wanted to edify this word, push it out today. Um, y'all by Shami al is doing a lot of cleaning up right now in every house, all right? And that's including each and every one of these camps, all right? And as the time goes into it, you know, with that sweeping and that cleaning process, that cleansing process, comes everybody being cut down, okay? Now, you got... Uh, a lot of these demons on a lot of individuals in this truth are that claim to be in this truth. And the Most High is just basically pushing these demons out and, and pretty much showing everybody as they are. Because as the days come along, we're finding out what manner of man you will be in these days to come right now. All right? And that All right. is a big thing because depending on who you have by Shemiah or Shai, it, hey, you might be alone. Um, we might get to see one of the other brothers or be with each other, however it may be. Um, how we conduct ourselves now in these times is um, a big clue to how we will conduct ourselves in the times to come, mm -hmm. especially in this great turmoil. Turmoil, excuse me. We're finding out who really has faith in this truth and who doesn't. You know, you got people um, coming out talking shit about the simple things that the uh, Apostles and, and the, um, their teachers before them had already pushed out and it's common knowledge amongst those in the house of Israel or those in the truth. And now they're refuting that, the 12 tribe signs, mm -hmm. you know, chariots, very simple things, you know what I mean? And the Most High is using that to expose a lot of other brothers that is that may be in any camp all throughout the four corners of this globe. Mm -hmm. Um, it was beautiful because when I looked at that live stream that um, Apostle Rhyme Life had done, and he was showing uh, different camps all around the globe, you know, that was beautiful, man. You know, and the fact that we can even communicate with them and push this word out to them is an awesome thing because they're going to be going through the same thing. So basically, we're preparing each other. You know, in this truth, we're preparing. It's kind of like in football when you're about to get hit. You kind of brace that body part for the impact. You know what I'm saying? And this is what this truth does is it's able to prepare us for <clears throat> whatever we may come into in these times as individuals, you know? Kind of. And if I may uh, say as well, you know, because uh, the new thing as well is also the uh, YouTube Salvation Israelites basically mm -hmm. uh, coming at us for uh, saying that you have to do videos and upload them on YouTube, especially, you know, beginning with Apostle Tahar, you know, putting out the decree unto the men of GMS, you know, to put out the uh, the daily, well, not daily, so like your uh, weekly three videos minimum, you know, of, of 11 minutes. Now you got scoffers that scoff at that, which really, if you truly addicted yourself to this ministry and if you were sincere about this work of ours, then you would want to teach. You know, right. all the apostles and all of the, the, the holy men that were moved by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai did so. Right. And the vehicle or the tool that the Most High Heavenly Father has blessed us with, you know, in these times to uh, propagate this word throughout the four corners of the world is YouTube. All right. right. Those different camps that you spoke about, you know, which... Um, Apostle Ramlab spoke about in this video, those camps couldn't have woken up as fast and at a rapid pace as they did if there had not been a such thing as the internet or such thing right. as YouTube. Right. You don't see men getting in vehicles uh, such as airplanes, boats, or, or, or you know, uh, uh, other things to go to uh, different countries, all right? Different countries that they've never seen before different parts right. of the countries that they never visited before right. to go out and to teach the way that Paul would travel to a country or the way that Peter would travel to a country or the way that any of the disciples or apostles would travel into a country. 
We don't right. need that because the Most High gave us a such thing as the internet, which right. men are attacking that as well as attacking the twelve tribes truck, attacking right. the um the the chariots, attacking the the uh, the 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 ICBM missiles. You know the different doctrines that we believe in and we hope in because those things gives us hope. You know they right. they they uh, let us know that the Most High Heavenly Father. You know, will bring judgment, all right, via the thermonuclear destruction. Right. Knowing that the Most High will give us salvation, you know, via the right. chariot. Knowing that we are the Israelites because of the 12 tribes chart. You know, guys coming to this truth, you know, not because they're sincere about this thing, but you got guys that are using this truth as a cloak of malicious, maliciousness, man. Uh. Mm. And that's a heavy thing, brother. This is uh Sirach chapter nine verse fifteen. Let thy talk be with with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. Let and let just men eat and drink with thee, and let thy glorying be in the fear of the Lord. For the hand of the artificer, the work shall be commended, and the wise ruler of the peoples uh, for his speech. Right, and we looking for that. We're looking to be commended by your how about Shemi our shy, not a man. Huh. And I think a lot of these cats really get caught up with that likes, views, attention itself. You mm -hmm. know, because it's a real feminist society. It's a matriarch society right now. And, you know, these cats get caught up with, you know, having attention. They want to be the this or that or whatever it may be. They want to be the man of the hour, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the spirit to be in right now. Anywhere in the world. There's too much stuff going on right now. There's too much shit happening, man. No, they got God. black sites. Man. I just and saw you, that on Democracy News today. They got black sites. They sending um them in the, the literal black sites, building that don't have an address or anything, right across the street from a woman's house. And she was filming them taking all these um Issaquah right children in in blue jumpsuits. I remember a long time ago, my wife had a dream. Um, and in that dream, she said a bus was pulling up in front of houses taking children. They had green or something like green or blue jumpsuits on like sweatsuits you know what i'm saying and they were just making them load up into the buses different children just a bunch of children and um as soon as i saw that today that's one of the first things that came to my mind was that you know that dream or that vision that the lord may have given her for these times to come and they think it, it only affects uh just mex i'm not mexican i don't have to worry well you look at google maps and you look at over 600 concentration camps in the united states you understand that that's not set aside for just a bunch of, of Mexicans, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. This ain't the time for that. It's not the time to seek, you know what I'm saying, some stardom or fame or, you know what I'm saying, some glory of men. That's some bullshit right now. Mm -hmm. God, it's a, it's a time to uh, seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, hence God. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. That's and it. you mentioned... Uh, all of the glory and the fame and the likes that individuals are looking for, the elect isn't looking for that. The elect oh isn't God. God. listening to a man and saying, oh, I, 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 I like this man just by his deliverance, you know, just God. by the way that he, he speaks. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, by his eloquence, by his, because uh, he, because he, he, he sounds like a great oracle. They're right. listening for truth, you know? Right. Just right. like just like Neo in the Matrix, Neo was sitting in front of the computer, you know, looking for truth, man, looking for answers. And that's how yeah. the elect is, you know, prior to yeah. coming into this truth, which you came into this truth, not by your own will, you know, because those same right. guys that are seeking glory think that they came into this truth because they found the truth. No, the scripture says that you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. That's you right. know, the most High heavenly father brought us into this truth. But ultimately, the elect comes into this truth because the Most High Heavenly Father has opened their eyes and he's opened their ears and they're listening. You know, they're desiring to hear the truth, to be pulled out of that darkness. God, and just, that's the reason why the elect are likened to the church of that, uh, the church of Berea, which um, wow. this is uh, Acts 17. And uh, beginning at uh, verse 9, it says, And when they had taken security of Jason and of the other, let them go 
And the brethren immediately, immediately sent Paul uh, uh, sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, mm -hmm. who coming hither were into the, went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those of Thessal uh, Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Mm -hmm. Now you got a bunch of followers of these these contrary guys, these guys that we cease to warn you about, all right, they're wicked and they're changing up the doctrines based upon their, you know, for pride, for reasons. Mm -hmm. They're not changing the doctrines because it's actually the truth. They're doing it to spite men. Or matter of fact, uh, there's a, a idiom which, which, which says, uh, uh, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. That's right. And that's right. exactly what they're doing. All right, so they're they're basically destroying themselves because they 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 because of their hate or their maliciousness that they have towards men, and you guys that are following them, you're not like the Church of Berea. All right, a lot of you guys are agents, you know, which are geeking them up because you want to inspire them to be wicked, you know, so that they can teach people to be wicked and they can pull other people. You know, out of this truth, which you can't pull the elect yeah. out of this thing, man. Uh, but, but, but yeah, basically, was, you have to be like the Church of Berea, and you have to go and you have to uh, search the scriptures, man. And that's how the elect are. The elect are searching the scriptures, right? God, right. diligently. And plus, mm -hmm. I mean, diligently. Also, it says, "For the time shall come where they will not uh, hear uh, sound doctrine." You know, well. I got that right here, if you don't mind. So those that follow those guys that um, pretty much use this truth as a cloak of maliciousness or for vain glory, you know, pretty much they weren't of the flock of Yahweh anyway, you know. That's right. But they just wanted to hear what was more convenient for them, you know, as far as, you know, they, they're using this, this this word, but not rightly dividing the word of truth and not right, rightly dividing it according to the signs of the times that we're in. Uh -huh. But mainly just uh, to use it for gain and deceit you know if you're just trying to build yourself a name and to get on get a following that's not coming in sincerity and truth yeah. you know yeah. I, got is, um, quick. This, I got i got matthew chapter 15 verse 7 ye hypocrites well did isaiah's prophesy of you saying this people draw draweth nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me honoreth me with their lips their heart is far from me, but in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. And, and basically these doctrines, the commandments of men that they teaching is a commandment that they gave themselves. Basically just teaching, teaching to, uh, to fill their own bellies, you know, but not to, not to, uh, feed the elect. I got, you got, you got a precept after this. I know, right? I mean, um, uh, Karat is all right. Con. I heard. Okay, I'm, go ahead. I, 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 after brother. I'm sorry. And then I go, go uh, you got a precept too? Okay, I'll come after the brother then. Mm. And then I'll right after you. Con. Okay. Con. Uh, this is uh, Micah chapter 3 and verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, right. and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet right. will they lean upon the Lord Yahweh and say, it's not the Lord Yahweh among us. None right. evil can come upon us. All right, because these guys want that. They want, you know, and by seeking your own praise, man, and doing it and divining for money. All right, you are so. You gotta comprehend that in the end, you only seeking to be mortified in the flesh to these devils and to these people of this world. You understand? Huh. You mortifying your limbs to the to the to the world. That's around you. If you want anything to do with this shit, I mean, you got to be out your mind. You got people literally selling yeah. their soul out here. You know what I'm saying? For Especially at this time, right? Mm -hmm. For this like bullshit you said earlier, God, and and they got to give up their butthole to get that. You right. know what I'm saying? They got to uh, uh, sacrifice somebody in their family, and you want somebody to feel sorry for your ass? Like we was talking about with that young man that got stabbed up and shit. You know, in New York. All right, right. Most high did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We keep pointing that out. We had to point that out. And um, T-Mobile went to go went to go pay uh my phone bill. The brother took me. You know, we pointed that out to them. The Most high had us teaching in there. 
unknowing. Huh. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't seeking our own glory. Most I put it on our spirit to bring out this comment because this is our common conversation. You see, if the scripture said, keep your conversation honest amongst the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So our conversation is generally on the scriptures and, and on present news and the things that's taking place in this world and the prophecies. And, you know, I got, you know, I got speak, an emergency precept. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get in there. Uh, yeah, it's the emergency. Ahead, it's, hey, it's going to fit right in with what you're saying. Yeah, right, right, right. This is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 14. But the heavenly father, Yahweh, forbid that I should glory. Save yeah. in the cross of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. Okay. Okay. You know? Why we, what do we have the glory in? We, yeah. Look, we over here paying for our present and our past sins. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How the fuck do we, what, what room do we have the glory? We ain't shit yeah. with filthy rags. I tell the cat, don't get me fucked up. I'm a worm. I know I'm nothing but a worm, dog. What the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? Hey, man, I have my infirmities like every other brother, and we were just talking on the hill. The infirmities I have compared to his infirmities, hey, the most high have you going through the similar, infir uh, your infirmity that you have in particular because you are strong enough to take that. What is that scripture in um, Sarah? It, it might not, it might not might, the next man might not be able to endure that. You know what I'm saying? He might be ready to jump off a bridge and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's always looking at it as a state of, it's a perspective thing. Oh man, you can't understand, man. I'm in pain all like, I'm in pain all the time for my injuries from this wicked ass uh, army. I'm in pain all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's not a not a minute I'm not in pain. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. But through the face of, of um, finding Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and um, these different herbs that he placed on this planet for us, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, the most I will make a way. Right. I'm weak as fuck, but my my um my spirit is strengthened, or his his work is uh perfected in, in our weakness, man. God, my my strength is made perfect in weakness. But what does God. that scripture say? It says them comparing themselves by themselves is not good. God. You know, the Most High gives each brother their own hell that they can go through. You know, the next man may not be able to go through what you're going through, so you can't compare yourself to another. You can't God. say, oh. You know, I'm better than this brother because I'm catching more hell than this brother. You know, the most high chastise brothers in, in different ways. We're all catching hell. That's uh -huh. the reason why the scripture says there is no temptation taking you, but such as a common to common man. You know, right. but we, uh -huh. we all have our, 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 our uh, different afflictions that we go through in the flesh. You know, uh -huh. one brother may lose his job. You know, another brother may lose his wife. You know, but uh -huh. we're still catching hell and the most high gives to each man you know, a, a particular chastisement. And it's to uh -huh. purge that man and it's to make him clean. You know, uh -huh. it's to, it's to uh, allow him to go through the amount of suffering that he can bear so that the Most High Heavenly Father can 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 break him down and reshape him and mold uh -huh. him into something that he please. But you got a lot of guys that can't endure and go through the hell that the Most High Heavenly Father has put on them. And, you know, a just to throw it out there, some some of these guys, their different afflictions is not receiving the glory that they desire. Good, you know, yeah. and that and that cuts you know, into them deeply. God is not receiving the glory that they desire. You know, they they want to be the guy that's on top. You know, they seeking the preeminence. When the scripture tell you not to seek the preeminence. All right. Yeah, seeking not the throne and preeminence. Yeah, but I got That's right. That. That's right. This. And I, I got a scripture right here in uh, Sirach, the 18th chapter, verse 32. It says, take no pleasure in much good cheer, neither be tied to the expense thereof. You know, okay. unless the Most High Heavenly Father puts you in a position, you shouldn't covet that position, man. Okay. You shouldn't covet okay. the, the positions of the, uh, of the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay. You know, and the scripture says, to, to whom much is given, much is required. Right. You may yeah, not be able yeah. to deal in the in the position that they have. Yeah. Dealing with the spiritual yeah. demon Satan, dealing with demons, all right, yeah. uh, dealing with the with the problems and the judgments that they have to make. The most yeah. I have put them in that position for a reason. And he put right. you in the position yeah. for a reason, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. the, actually, you you know uh what one thing that that um that that's appalling to me, right? You got your, you got your, you you're the husband you got your wife right right your your duty 
is to go out, is to minister, is to, is to uh, fish for the elect, all right? You right. have more on your back than she has on her back. All she has to do right. is be a good wife to you. That's, That's it. it. And as a church, if you have a now and shot, all we have to do is just be a good wife. That's it to the most family father. Yeah. Why are you trying to take more more things on you than than necessary? Right. This is uh Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of the most high, which he hath purchased with his own blood. You know, and basically the point is to take heed to yourselves, you know, huh. basically. So we don't over we don't overthink who we are or what what this ministry is, which a lot of brothers have done. Well, they they not brothers no more because they didn't went off. But a lot of uh, a lot of guys that have that cloak of maliciousness have done. They they sought to be more than what they were instead of taking heed for themselves, knowing the duty that they had to do which oh, is teach yeah. this word you well, know that's okay i'm glad you just said that all right, all right. go ahead i know you got your scripture brother yeah i got it uh um psalms 12 they speak vanity everyone with his neighbor uh, i'm just going out to the uh the, uh, the 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 wicked samaritans with flattering mm -hmm. lips and with a double heart do they speak the lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things who have said with our tongues will prevent we will prevail our lips be our own who is the lord over us isn't it possible elders want to taught you this damn truth ain't they the lord over you right you know yeah. uh, i'm gonna skip down right here uh to the sixth verse the words of the most high is pure words and the furnace of the earth purifies seven times thou shalt be keep them O yahweh Thou shalt preserve them for this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the when the the vilest men are exalted. And y'all the vilest motherfucking men I know. What y'all okay. proud motherfucking asses. You know, right. I can't stand look at a video y'all do. I, I can't get through five minutes of it. Y'all, y'all, y'all on some other bullshit. God. God. And I, I mean, come on, man. You can tell when they on some bullshit. When they feeling they self, licking their lips and shit, motherfuckers pausing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to look cute. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Man, you want some old. Huh? Well, they, they made it off of us. They 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 hold precepts off of damn songs. God. Hey, that's how they get around. Shit, hell, get around. Hip hop, hip, hip hop, right. hip. Roundy round. They'll do that. They'll mother hey, look, they do something. They have a gimmick. Everybody has some kind of punk ass gimmick. You know, with them funky ass gimmick, they try to push this word, man, or they try to put themselves out there and shit, and they try to shine. You know what I'm saying? Nothing worse than seeing somebody trying to seek the throne in preeminence, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, you got to let the most high handle that. You can't stand, hey, bro, my motherfucker, I'll whip your ass, or, you know, try right. to take it into your own hands. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. let things uh, fall, uh, fall as that. It's the most highest movie, man. You just go ahead and let that part play out, man. You know what I'm saying? Know your part. Know your know your goddamn lines when it comes to when you, when your part come and that camera's on you. You know your lines, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it comes down to. It said, "Worry not how the wicked shall be punished, but how the uh, but how the righteous shall be saved." Loosely uh, loosely translate. I I'm not worried about how this is gonna come on you. Really, I'm just trying to keep tunnel vision on what y'all by shimmy all shy has a story for me. In, in my right. house, and for my brother as well, you know what I'm saying? Because yes, right, we are our brother's keeper, contrary to popular demand, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's uh -huh. always good to be aware of what moving in the uh, of cloak of maliciousness is, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. uh, I think that was your calm. I saw that. Is, was that you that did that video on the chairs and on a uh, chariots and on egghead? Mm -hmm. Now, when I looked at that video, I was a good to our brother, uh, to our video brother. Now, when I was looking at that, I you know I noticed you said something about uh, Judas being in the midst of them, in the midst of the of the uh, disciple, the apostles, right? And how even Yahweh Shai had pointed that out when he washed Peter's hands, mm -hmm. um, his feet, and his uh, his feet, his head, and mm -hmm. his hands, if I'm not mistaken. And you pointed out that uh, you know because a brother apparently had that that dream or that vision, and 
you know, he had set in his mind that man, I'm just not clean yet. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm not ready. I got to keep going hard. You know what I'm saying? And this doctrine that I'm in pretty mm -hmm. much encouraged the, the, the do the doctrine or the, the path that he's chosen at this point in time. And he was like, no, he just pretty much saying, just like he was saying at that time, um, I, 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 what was that scripture in particular? I, I'd rather mm -hmm. get it instead of paraphrasing it as much. And it's uh, John, the 13th chapter, mm -hmm. uh, I believe approximately verse 18 or maybe, uh, Maybe before that, maybe verse 15. Okay. What I, let me get that right. Why you have about Shamel with Shai? Why are you finding that? I, I, I guess I'll come out with this. I got someone that's speaking on that right now. Uh, that's, that's John, the 13th chapter. And uh, okay, it might be 18. I'll tell you before I come. 19. 19. Yep, now I tell you before it come to pass, when it come to pass, you may believe that I am. So I speak now. Actually, it's uh, verse 11. 11? Verse 10 and 11. This is, yep, 10 and 10, starting at 10, yep. This is John, and, uh, and I'll let you go after this, I'll select it. And then uh, okay, I know the brother on the scripture as well, too. So like, um, this is John 13 and 11. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he. Ye are not all clean. And then what he pointed out in that video, he said, um, you got it messed up because you, you know who was being pointed out um, in this in particular situation. It was Judas scary, mm -hmm. you know, and, and when he uh, when he heard that voice come from the chair and it said, you're not clean. He didn't perceive that. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. He was just like, oh, I got to I got to straighten my shit up. I got to line yeah. my beard up. Niggas mm -hmm. got to slick my head. You know what I'm saying? I got to. Or whatever he got set in his mind. You know what I mean? And so he went about that silly ass shit, not even knowing. Both sides just like, hey, then uh, at least you repent. OK, I leave my I leave room for error. At least you repent. You know, your body headed ass will be destroyed. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You are, you know, um, the brother asked me about casting lots, you know, and we was talking about it at the store. And I was saying, uh, he said, can you just cast a lot to see if you be, might be part of the elect? And I was like, I mean, you possibly can, but then you could be deceived by that. You see what I'm saying? You can be led to think that, oh, oh, I said, yeah, hey, yes, and get comfortable, man. And the most I use that as a way to kick you out this truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. That's right. Uh -huh. God. Yeah, because the most high can deceive you. You know, he can make the lot says that you are, but 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 you gotta let's define the elect, all right? Because you have uh two elect. You have those that are elected to be the wicked, and you have those that are elected to be the righteous, right. which are gonna be the ones that are delivered, you know, the hundred and forty four thousand and one third of the nation of Israel. You know, that reminds me of the movie um uh the movie Macbeth. All right. And yeah. um, it says it says in that movie, it says Macbeth shall not be killed by the by the hands of mortal men. You know, uh, in the movie, some witches have said that unto him. Now, Macbeth, he wasn't killed by the hands of men, but he was still killed by a sword. You know, so hey, the most wow. high Heavenly father can deceive you that way to make you believe that you're part of the elect. And right. you'll get yeah. very proud. You know, yeah. you 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 uh, be arrogant. Right. All right, <laughs> you'll be you'll be braggadocious, you know. Yeah. Right. But then, yeah. but then, guess what? The next thing you notice is, is is that you're out of the camp. You know, you're teaching other doctrines, and you're being yeah. tormented in your mind. Because I guarantee you that that those guys that that have left the truth, they're not sleeping well at night. Oh, All no, right, no. when you look at those guys, a hey, some of them lose weight. They get they get black bags under their eyes. Yeah, you know, because uh, they're turning it, they're turning into the zombies that they are. Uh, and the most yeah. high heavenly father, you know, uh, it says right here in the book of uh first Timothy's 5 and 24, it says, and I love this scripture, it's one of my new favorite scriptures. It says, Some men's sins are open beforehand, uh, going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. So wait, some men's sins, this is uh first Timothy's 5 and 24. Now, Lord, some uh, some men's sins, they're, they're open beforehand, meaning that you know that they're sinners. You know that they're going off and that they're wicked. It says mm -hmm. going before to judgment. So you already know, hey, these motherfuckers are going off and they're going to be destroyed. 
It says, and some men they follow after. So just like Judas Iscariot, all right, which the Lord called him unclean because the most timely father knew that he was going to betray him. That's how some of the guys are that come into this thing of us. You know, they're, they're really unclean, but they right now they appear to be brothers. Right. Until the um, most heavenly father, until that time come that's appointed by the most heavenly father for them to be exposed. Yeah, and that's uh, what happened with guys like said. Egghead. That's what happened uh, with ITR and, and, and the rest of these guys. God. You know? Now, the beautiful thing about this is any one of those guys can repent and the most heavenly father may have mercy upon them and number them of the elect. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, their pride is 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 keeping them bound like like uh, chains and iron, like yokes of iron. God. You know, so me personally, do I think that any of those guys are going to repent and humble themselves? No, I don't. God. You know, but the Most High Heavenly Father is so merciful that if they repented sincerely with their whole heart, mind, body, and soul, they may be saved. God, you know, but but here it is. The Most High Heavenly Father is extending His mercy uh, unto you by way of reproving you by the mouth of the prophets, uh -huh. by way of reproving uh -huh. you of, of the mouth of all of these brethren. Here it is, all of these brethren that you sat down with, you fellowship with, all right, the brethren where you, you spent the night over their house, or y'all traveling to another city, y'all slept in the same hotel room, all right, uh -huh. y'all sat down, y'all fellowship together, that brother helped you out, you helped that brother out. You know, but yet you don't want to take his advice. When you take the advice of somebody, it should be the, the advice of a, of a wise counselor. It should be the, the advice of your own friend. It shouldn't be the advice of your enemy. But these guys are listening to the, their enemy, which is the spiritual demon, Satan. And rather he's, you know, he's uh, whispering those, those sweet nothings in their ears or shooting those fiery darts at them. You know, or, or rather he uh, speaking to them through one of the people on the comment board. God. You shouldn't take the advice. You should take the advice of those men that were fighting in the trenches with you, man. Right. Those men that, that you once considered brethren. They're not telling you what they're telling you for, for, for not, you know, but but you're 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 neglecting that invitation, man. God, yeah. that, uh, you know, and that's true. You neglecting that, and, and and when you look at every situation that we fall into, in the end, you can only blame yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because we taking, it's like taking it, having integrity in this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to have integrity, I remember I was in basic training one time, right? And uh, there's an area in the floor. You know, you all crazy and bewildered. You don't know what's going on because that's part of how they, you know, uh, wash you in. You know what I'm saying? Brainwash you, right? I got an emergency precept real quick. Okay, go ahead. This so is I John 6 and 70. Yahweh Shai answered them, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil? I mean, oh, I mean yeah, because that's, yeah, that's straight to the point, you know? God, I so, I mean, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you is a devil? Uh, just like the video uh, Elder Apostle Gabar had did a while back, you oh. know, the Lord then chose the, the good and the bad. I mean, you yeah. don't know who the good is if you don't have the bad with them because they have to be separate. There, There's people elected to be the bad. But uh, how do you know who's who if the bad is not there, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with my phone. Yeah, have, can you... Hold on, slack it just a minute. I can, <laughs> uh, can you go to your settings real quick? God, and just try. click... I got a precept to back up what the brother just read. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead, brother. Okay, uh, uh, Luke 22 and 20. Likewise, also the cup after the supper saying, this cup is my New Testament and my and my and in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayed me is with me on the table. And truly the son of man go up as it is determined, but woe unto that man whom he is betrayed. And it's kept down because, you know, we all supposed to be in service of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai to get this truth out. Uh, 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 um, yeah. If you want to be great, uh, uh, skip down to 26, but ye shall not be so. He that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is a chief, let him don't serve. 
for whatever is greater is he that sitteth at, at me or he that serveth is not he that serveth at me but i am among you right. that he that serveth because 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 you have us in your shot when he was here before he gave up his life he was serving he wasn't out here like he was the greatest among everybody. He he was teaching. He was a servant. Right, yeah. right. Con. I yeah. got a precept to follow that. Uh, this is uh, Salakia. Yeah. This is uh, Mark ten and forty five. It says, "For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto." But to minister and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. even Shai himself didn't come to be ministered unto, you know, even though he was a king. And guess what? You're right. supposed to minister unto your king. Mm -hmm. You no. Know? Mm -hmm. But but mm -hmm. Shai came to serve, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the same, that's the same spirit that we're supposed to be in. You know, mm -hmm. and it's good those that are chiefer, chiefest among you is your servants. Right. You know, the, the scriptures also says, uh, be not lords over the Lord, or uh, be not lords over the Lord's flock. Right. You, got, you got guys that are trying to be lords over the flock, man. Right. 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 Instead, instead of trying to be an example to the flock, here it is, you're ahead of heads of the camps, and you're in a position to be examples unto the flocks, but yet you want it more. Right. Here it is. Right. You couldn't even deal with the the food that was on your plate. You couldn't even eat that, but now you're you're begging for more, man. Right. You know, right. eat that which was served unto you. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, I got. Um, I, 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 I well, you, Um, before you read, I got a question. Did uh, so the elder Makawana fall out? Yeah, yeah. The elder elder Makawana fall out. Um, I I don't know. You know, we have to get back. To y'all on that, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping not. You I'm know. yeah, because you know, I just saw, man. you know, I you know, they put man. all that bullshit propaganda out there. Not yeah. powerful, you know. The most I was working through that man, so you know, not to get off topic or anything. I just that the Lord brought that to my spirit, and I am prone to forget some shit. Off you know so what? I, Lord, Lord willing, he didn't. Huh. But but yeah. if he if he did, you know, uh, the, the the scripture tells you to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. Uh, you know, because you got guys that will leave, and we we've seen this. We're, we're witnesses to to this because they're trying to ride the coattail of other men instead of trying to uh, get uh, work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. They don't uh, forget how Hashem was shot, and they're not true about this thing of ours. Uh, they're not they're not in the truth. You know, they're just dallying. They're just hanging around. They're just loitering. All right, we ain't got time for niggas to be loitering, all right? You know how all when right. you walk into a liquor store or a gas station and it says no loitering? It ain't no just uh, hanging around, man. Either, uh, you know, <laughs> ain't no hanging around in this troop of ours, man. Uh, you, you, you can't ride the coattail of another man. We have guys that 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 left when 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 uh, certain guys decided to leave. Why? Because they're riding their coattail. They're uh, not sincere uh, about this truth, man. Uh, Instead of working out their own salvation, if you're working out your own salvation, you know you know what 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 quality or characteristic is going to come along with that integrity. Uh, you know, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, if you don't mind, I kind of been holding this priest off for a while. Yeah. Go ahead, this is, uh, Matthew uh, twenty four and starting at forty two. It says, "Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come." You know, so we're standing on our watch right now. You know keeping um watch for the prophecies to come to pass as far as um stand keep stand uh, on the news you know like your brother was going into earlier you know and just just keeping track by measuring the time diligently according to you know the prophecies as far as what's about to get ready to take place which is the destruction of babylon and pretty much you know the rfid to being implemented and things of that nature you know it says, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. 
because Yahweh Shai is coming as a thief in the night. So we're staying on our watch in a late hour, you know, so that we don't be broken up, you know, as far as, um, you know, as far as the time for when Yahweh Shai is going to bring about, you know, the hopeful elect salvation. You know, we want right. to be, you know, in, that, in the right um, mind frame to, you know, receive that, you know. Okay. It All says, right. Therefore, be also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season. Mm. Yeah, right. Them. Faithful and wise servant, he give you meat in due season. Not in the season that you think is supposed to come. You know, a lot of cats get fucked up because they think they're supposed to have something now, and they get impatient. Mm -hmm. You know? And nothing's yeah. going to be on your time in this thing, man. Right. You let things go by flow the way the spirit flow. You got a lot of cats that's impatient in this piece, man. Mm -hmm. And they think mm -hmm. that things is, you know, mm -hmm. you got know, a lot of uh, man, men out there that think mm -hmm. that things are supposed to yeah, revolve it. around mm -hmm. them. Like, no, God. man. The most I have right, something so slotted, so everything is on the most highest time in the end. I don't care what you may think it is or how you may perceive it. All right? The most y'all by Shimmy Ashav, he's used to somebody, and then that's yeah. on his time schedule. It may mm -hmm. not happen in the time that you may think it's supposed to happen in your life. God. Guess what? Hey, just like coming into this truth. We came into this truth too early. Shit, that could have fucked us all up. We could have fucking took this for granted, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So the most I saw it fit to come forth in this season for us to have this truth. Right. So we don't get um high-minded. Right, because the Lord had yeah. to have us go through uh, our particular hells to uh, want to get out of this world. And then he brought us into the truth. Uh, okay. uh. Continuing on, it says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Mm. You know, that's yeah. those who, who actually um, holds steadfast in the faith to endure unto the end, you know, mm. and yeah. to keep putting <laughs> seeking out by Shemmy outside with diligence. Yeah. Yeah. Those are going to be rewarded right. when, you know, when he comes. Right. It says, Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants. You know, being unbrotherly, being wicked to the brotherhood, and shall eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, mm -hmm. and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be hey, 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 uh, mm -hmm. right. he, it, it says it says to to smite this uh his fellow servants. You still have some guys out there that can't get the Israelite form to think, you yeah. know, and they think that all Israelites are, are, are dark skin. So when it yeah. comes down to um, the, the Israelites that, that look white, you know, the ones that may look Chinese or, or any other nation, but they're still Israelites, you know, they'll, they'll demonize them and they'll treat them bad and they'll scoff them, you know, yeah. so that, that, that's smiting yeah. their fellow service as well, yeah. you know, yeah. but then also... That persecution that comes with, you know, teaching the truth and other guys, you know, they're, they're wicked, you know, so so they'll they'll uh, 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 smite you and persecute you, you know, just because you're, you're rebuking them. Kind, kind. That's true. And then the Lord also said, as far as this confusion of faces go, the Lord also said that the tares and the wheat grow together because the spirit going to separate them first and foremost. And then at the end, if they still there, the angels is gonna uh, separate them. You know? uh, that's true. Uh, uh, this is Luke seventeen and nine. Do if he think the do if he think that serving because he did the things that he were commanded him, I trow not. So likewise, ye when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded, you say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Right. Not glory in this, like, hey, man, shit, this, that, and the third, or see yourself as some kind of great mogul. Yeah. You know, that's not what it's all about. Right. We're doing what we're supposed to do, knowing that we actually unworthy of this salvation. We're doing what we're supposed to do, so the Lord gives us this salvation. And if you don't mind this me saying, before you say mm -hmm. that, you got something like we were talking about earlier. You got some cats like, let's say, let's let's use Yaka 9. Um, uh, element, fifth right. element, 
All right. <laughs> Let's lose all of these these cats that made it all the way up there. And they got they want they their main aspiration was to get up there and get acknowledged by the apostles. Correct. You see what I'm saying? And and that's an honor nonetheless. But that's an honor granted of you how about Shai at random random to whoever he would. It doesn't mean that you're not diligent in this thing mm. because you haven't been acknowledged on some grand scale. You know, because we're doing this for the acknowledgement of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay. All right, but you got some cats that, that make it all the way up there and they finally get to see the apostles and the apostle elders. And and, and they'll go see them two or three times and they'll, they'll show them much love, man. And it'd be, hey, you like when they showed that love to Yaka man. Right. When I, I mean, saw, when I saw that love that they showed to Yaka and 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 and, and um, you know, the realness that they just showed towards their brother. And accepted them back in like the parable of the uh of the uh the the project the the yeah. you know what I'm saying that was beautiful and for him to go about and go to the nigga shit that he did you know what mm. I'm saying because you know he was in this camp before you know and that shit was fucked up man mm. you know what I'm saying because it was like man most I invited you back in the fold and you shit it all over the place bro right right this is uh Matthew 10 and 25 it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them uh, of his household? And basically, you know, Yahweh Shai came to be a servant. Yahweh Shai is our master. So it's enough for us to be as our master is, you know? And, 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 and people still, you know, so-called brothers still want to be above that, you know? Uh. Uh, and I got a priest. This this first yeah for necessity it's laid upon me yeah whoa which is destruction is mm -hmm. on to me if I preach not the gospel so you know we don't have nothing the glory of in this thing like the brother Brian yeah. earlier we, we're we're as worms man we're all filthy rags man we don't got right. nothing the glory of it's. Our it's a necessity that we preach this word, man. Yeah. We're not gonna get glory on this side, man. Yeah, you know. I got a quick yeah. piece of. Oh, I got it's. I got one more verse. I real okay. quick. This verse seventeen. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel, which is the good news, is committed. On it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he got to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? What choice did Jonah have? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Jonah couldn't even look. That's a fate worse than death. Most I could Christopher Reeve your ass if he wanted to. And still make you try to push this word if that's what he wanted to do. You better get your ass out in that damn electric ass wheelchair and get the truck in. Right. He's trying to make parasites dig into your ass or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I may say this too, I mean, because, you know, we was called into this thing because. We've been purchased not with corruptible things, but through the blood of Yahweh Shai. So right. Yahweh Shai, you know, he was sent to accomplish his mission and through through obedience, and now he is um, glorified and magnified at the right hand of the Father. So we right. have to uh, basically be partakers of that same suffering and fulfill our lot. Charge you know, um, I got a precept. This is Sirach six and eighteen. It says, my son, gather instructions from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Um, and that's why we come into this truth at all ages and um, all walks of life, man. That's right. right because huh? if we did, if we received it too early, man, we could have fucked it up. So the Most High brought us in in the season, in each of our individual season, man. Mm -hmm. You yeah. got some brothers that's winter, some brothers that's spring, some some brothers that's summertime. We wasn't all ball, born in the fall, you know. Okay. Um, right. It says, "Come unto her for uh, 19th verse. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. But thou shalt not toil much and laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon." And that takes patience, man, because, you know, you got a lot of people that's lazy as fuck right now, right? Because back in the day, uh, we, we used to have to plant food just to eat that shit. You have a bad harvest, man. You, somebody might die in your family and shit. And now we have leisure to do um, things. We have so much leisure time in this kingdom to do things, right? Because this is a, a majority consumer nation. All right. 
you know, people don't understand what it is to really plow. And when we do this work and this truth, they figure, hey, I work a nine to five, asshole, and get a real job or something like that. Hey, you got brothers in the work that this truth that work hard in and out of this truth. You know what I'm saying? They in a continuous hard work standard. Mm -hmm. Says, um, um, uh, it says she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. Right. So if you can't remain in this truth until the end, then it couldn't the truth couldn't remain in you in the first place, or you couldn't remain with it. You couldn't hang, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, I got one. It's a little bit more. It's lucky. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him. Uh, er, it be long. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you gonna that motherfucker. Man, I can't take this. Arr! Throw that stone, man. Throw, hey, fall out the truth. Whatever it may be, man. What was that? The but brother was um mm -hmm. um a a, a bach. Oh. When a bach came down, he was saying how the brother, the uh, the, the leader in the St. Louis camp. You know, he said he called him up. He was in jail. He said, "Oh no, he wasn't in jail." After he got out, he asked him if he was gonna come out, and he said, "Uh." He said, man, I believe it's the famine of the word. I was locked up, <laughs> man. I believe it's the famine of the word, man. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So I, I, I'm not, I, I'm done with the truth. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm done right now. You know what I'm saying? I got to, you know, whatever other bullshit. It, it, don't worry. Y'all going to fall out too. Watch. Y'all going to fall out too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, you got to understand that nigga. Yeah. Nigga is a spirit, man. Right. Nigga is a real spirit that's out yeah. there. Man. And that, that's why you have <laughs> nigga moments. Because yeah. it only takes. A couple seconds for that spirit to jump on you. A nigga get to shoot, shoot shit out of nigga. <laughs> pow, 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 nigga. Draco or whatever they have out here, and then come to his senses. You see that trial the other day with them dudes that stabbed at that fifteen year old. They was out here. That's nigga when they was reading what he did to the uh to the fifteen year old. He grabbed him and stabbed him with the machetes. The nigga was looking all cr crying and sad and shit. Why? That nigga spirit was on his ass to do some nigga shit, and it didn't take long to do it. A couple stabs, and that mm -hmm. spirit jumped right off of him, and you come back to your 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 regular senses, uh, so to ah. speak. You know, niggas always talk about mm -hmm. blacking out and shit. You know, and then now he's crying in court because you had a nigga moment from that nigga spirit. You know, mm -hmm. hey, didn't uh, was it wasn't he wasn't he locked up because uh because some uh young jakes were trying to jump on him and he stabbed him up. Yep. Yeah. In Connecticut. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, I know he's gonna say it too because because it was because it was that yeah it was all off of a jump off. Right. He got busted. He was mad because his sister got busted down. Right. And and, and and he felt some kind of way, so he had to make uh. He had to go out and, and, and see blood shit for that. <laughs> right. Oh, right. man. Killed the, uh, killed the wrong one. Right. But she's the one that set it up to protect her boyfriend in the first place, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry. Man. Oh, yeah. This oh, is, uh, you know, uh, 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 boyfriend, girlfriend matters. I try not to. I try to stay away from it. But uh, uh, I got to yeah. uh, Go ahead. Uh, uh, let us get the whole conclusion. Uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the whole, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahshai. Keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Yahweh by Shem Yahshai shall bring every work unto judgment, whether it be a secret thing, whether it be good, or whether it be evil. And then right. Yahweh by Shem Yahshai told us to preach this word to everybody. You know, that's what, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right. When he came back, he said, "Peace his word." Uh, right. and, and you gonna faint because you went to jail? You know, <laughs> nigga, nigga, you didn't shit, top shit your hand off the plow yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's some straight nigga shit, man. You know yeah. that, but you know he had to throw that rock. Uh, he had to throw off that rock of offense, man. Or uh, what does it say? Uh, and it was uh, she will lie on upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he would cast her off from him. Er it, er, it be long, right? Because not it, it, brothers. What uh, example? The nineteen ninety two Israelites, they couldn't take it for a while, you know. Yes, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, when you come into this truth, you got to come in it thinking, hey, this is for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's whether what I'm it be about. whether it be uh, like the uh, short, yeah, whether it be short or long, you know, you got to be like in Noah. this. 
for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah. Well, this is straight up on that Corleone status, dog. Good, good. You got it fucked up. It's like the mind. Like Noah, right. Noah did, uh, did the work for, uh, what, 100 years 100 or years, something? Over 100 for years. Hurricane? Yeah. Right. Come on, man. And he did it diligently around every, and you imagine you are one of eight that believe in the word and the truth, and you got the whole world against you, man. Right, right. That's just to yeah. signify the times that we in now, man. Correct. Uh, and yeah, then I got, the Lord I got three sons. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it, the little this, shit that happened to you. This, you know, the real right. hard shit ain't happened to your shit, get to your ass right. yet. Good. Right. And we don't know how long the Lord is going to have this hard shit happening. Right. Because right. it, it could yeah. you know, the boys that's tra trapped in that cave in Thailand. Right. They've they been trapped for two weeks. Two man. weeks, man. What well, a diver, a they're like a professional, like Navy diver, drowned trying to save them. Yeah, but they've yeah. been in there for two weeks, and they trying to get them out before that monsoon come and flood that whole shit out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, man, that's the, yo, you that's some patience, man. You don't, yeah. you can't even see the sunlight, you know. Mm -hmm. Man, that's scary, man. Huh. You know, mm -hmm. but that takes yeah. patience. They got, they ain't got no choice but to be in there until right. someone comes to save them up. Yeah, exactly. And that's the reason why a brothers use a. Uh, Use them as an analogy for the elect. Huh. No, because huh. huh. yeah, we are like uh, it's those, like those for, for that them. Yeah. that's true. Waiting so, for waiting for y'all shy to save us. You know, yeah. Yeah. before yeah. that yeah. monsoon yeah. comes, right? Huh. <laughs> so that monsoon, yeah. like right yeah. here, we already feeling it. You know, it's like you can see the trees blowing and shit. Mm -hmm. You see a couple drops and shit. You hear about it over here in this city. It's a little bit of rain over there. You know. This is the time that we in, man. We in our eleven. It's the eleven fifty ninth hour, brother. Right. Go ahead. Huh. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the no, we in the eleventh hour. Oh, you gonna this have to be the book of the yeah, commandments yeah. of Yahweh and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right. Um, and and the Lord is plain with that. All that keep it shall come to life, but those that leave it shall die. Damn. And, and, and people act people act like they're not afraid of death until death comes and stare them in the face, you know. Right. Yeah, right. The blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. Right. Now a nigga want to think about God and shit when blood is in your motherfucking eye and you laid the fuck out somewhere. Right. You understand? Yeah. yeah what they say, your life is oh, Then they want to cry to y'all, but see me out shot. Come on. Come on. It's too late then. That's, they got to talk about grace period. Yeah. Hey. When grace period is over, you got to reschedule. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reason why I, I do everything I do from here on out is for doing this truth. You know, right. I ain't got time to be bullshitting around and fucking around and playing right. games. Right. You know what, man? Yo, this is uh, yep. Matthew uh, going back to them that seeking that preeminence. This is Matthew 20 and starting at 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them to his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace mm -hmm. and said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever uh, is right, I will give you. And, and they went out their way. And again, he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, why stand ye here all the day idle? Right. We was we were the ones that were idle. Right. We were in this world, man. Kind. Huh? We talked to this nigga earlier. We had to let him know, man. We've been from that walk of life and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, what, 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 we, what would make us, what would we have to go through to make us Come to this point, man. We're not even from this city, all right. And now the Lord got us here together. None of us in this camp are from this place, right? Well, I got I got a precept for you. Uh, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah ten, verse uh, twenty-three. Mm -hmm. All right, and it reads. It says, uh, it says, Oh, Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in men that walketh to direct his steps. <laughs> you know, so it was the most family father that directed your steps to, you know, go there and eventually 
you know, to link up in, in, in Grand Rapids, you know, right. yeah, and, and for him to uh, bring y'all together as a camp so you can minister and wake up the brethren that are there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's real, man. You know, mm -hmm. I love y'all by Shimmy man. Yeah. God, yeah. they always ain't, always ain't, 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 ain't like the most highs. You know, the most highs ways are, are high and above our ways. You know, his thoughts is high and above our thoughts. You know, you have men that think that they have the free will to do whatever the hell that they want, but it's not so. You know, yeah. your every step, your every movement is is being uh, controlled. You know, right. and you're That's thinking true. that you have free will, but the most family father has it set up to where you you everything that you that you've done was already written. It was already mm -hmm. uh, uh, already etched in, in in stone, if you will, before you even became. You know, a, a, a living a, 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 before you even came into the body that you're living in right now. You know, the Most High had everything that you were doing already written and set up because we're playing now His will. Wow. Right. Yeah. It, was a, yeah. yeah. it was a guy that uh, came to the camp, seemed to be intelligent and everything, and we was teaching him. And he was listening when he was at the camp, but then as soon as we brought uh, brought out there is really no such thing as free will, bugged him out completely. He don't oh, yeah. even he don't even look Ooh. us in the eye no more. Yeah, and his and his uh, 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 how's that song? Uh, the motherfuckers waxing worse and worse and worse. Yeah, worse yep. and worse and worse. Waxing worse and worse and worse. Waxing yep. worse and worse and worse. Yeah, that I mean, nigga's waxing worse every time we see that clown. Yep. That motherfucker getting more a little more bugged out. All right. Time. Hey, you can tell them, man. If you had that spiritual eye, man, I'm telling you, man. You probably you just see we probably see demons all on people, yeah, man. So you know what I mean? You probably see demons climbing on their head and shit. Right. Whispering in their ears. Right. You know what I'm saying? All like kinds that of shit. movie, Constantine. Kind. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this Proverbs is chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Yeah, how about shit? How shot? Right. How can a man then understand you know. his own way? Because right, I'm so gonna know, understand why he went to the why why did he go down this street instead of that street when he wanted how? to go down that street in the first place? Yep. Can't that's understand right. because the Lord guided him. Yep. And that, that's why women a lot of the times when they get with these get with us, they can't understand. Like I would have never messed with like you know because especially if if, if you are uh, uh, not a stern man, but you know you know to set a hedge uh, before a woman. And they just like, dang, I, I don't um I, I'm usually not attracted to guys like you. Why? Because you see that order that, that's been placed before mm -hmm. you. The most high puts you there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's an either you're gonna get down or you're gonna lay down. Mm -hmm. Like uh mm -hmm. who said that Beanie Siegel? Mm -hmm. That shit. You either you're gonna get down or you're gonna lay down in the end. You know what I'm saying? But you can't you didn't the most high directed your steps here at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And all they could do is a death. Mm -hmm. and, gonna, and even if they can't see the benefit of it now. They're going to see it in this time to come. Because, like yeah. I say, a man should be as a hiding place upon, uh, from the wind. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, or, yeah. or it'd be like a rock. It's a hiding place from the wind, or uh, loosely translated. Mm -hmm. From the tempest. From yeah. the tempest, kind of. Yeah. And that's, them, uh, that's that nuclear destruction, man. We ain't talking about no damn. I'm going to sit up here and protect you from this storm, baby. From this F5 tornado and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get your ass snatched up. All of y'all held together. Y'all both shit. going to get snatched up, motherfucker. No. I ain't talking about no return of your house shot either. Shit. All right. Sure. No. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is going back to, um, you know, pretty much uh, that cloak of maliciousness or basically see seeking preeminence or vainglory. Okay. This mm -hmm. is uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and uh, 3. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife mm. and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? Mm. <laughs> like certain brothers may seek to preeminence by wanting to be on a certain type of level, you know, mm. or or they already pretty much are puffed up, you know. Right. Mm. And, and yeah, it's a puffed up in your own vain mind, your mm. own wicked mm. ass mind. You are puffed up, but in your mind, when shit looks a certain way, it's got to be right. You know what mm. I'm saying? Right. Uh, it says, uh, for while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not colonel? Who huh. then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye, ye believe? 
Mm. Even as the Lord gave to every man. Because right. every the I mean, every man, you know, that came into this, they received their portion of faith to be able to um do this ministry, to do this work. You know? right. So right. I mean it's really no no way as far as like bragging or boasting, you know. Mm. It says, I have planted and Apollo's water, but the most I gave the increase. Mm -hmm. So then mm -hmm. neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth. But the most high Yahweh that giveth the increase. Mm -hmm. okay. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Mm -hmm. so we are laborers together with Yahweh. Ye are Yahweh's husbandry, ye are the most high's building. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. God. Being the most high's each, each and every one of us are breaking that building, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And being a brick of that building. I told you. Dang, I don't even know. I don't know if you, uh, you Akim, are still watching. You know, but... Uh, the, the, main, the main guy that uh, was uh, in here recording, you know, his, uh, something happened to the internet. We're gonna go and just go ahead and just close it down right there. You know, we all pray to the Lord. By Hashem, the Lord will shine. By Hashem, we have to die. The devil honors to our apostles that great no stone who rules the east world through the Holy Spirit. And the Lord will shine. Peace, love, and mercy be to you. Shalom. Shalom.